first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. Confucius said, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? You have to believe that something different than what has happened. You have to believe that something different can happen. Rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening, make a choice. You just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, godlike feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. It's something that truly exists in all of us. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. If you want to be an impactful personality, you have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. No matter what you want to do in life, no matter what your ambition is, uh, that your dreams can come true if you persevere, if you work hard, um, and if you realize that what you might think is impossible is possible in today's world. Well, you have to keep yourself focused on whatever your ultimate goal is. There's stumble, there's stumbling blocks all the way. People get laid off, you have a bad game, you get traded from a team that you uh, don't want to be with. But if your goal and your focus remains the same, that hey, this is going to happen, and I know I have the skills and I have the knowledge and I have the instincts to dig myself out of this hole, you will dig yourself out of the hole. You have to control the situation. Don't let the situation control you. Your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you got to change what you think you should be. What you think is more important than what you do. And so if you want to change, you got to work on this attitude bit. When you take on a massive change, whether it's trying to diet after a lifetime of being overweight, or maybe running your first race after a lifetime of never ever exercising, or maybe it's starting to date again after you lost your spouse to cancer, when you confront something that's gonna require you to change your behavior, you basically come face to face with the gap between who you are right now and the future person you wanna be. So you need to foster the belief in what you are dreaming so that it becomes a reality, which is very different than saying, I don't expect anybody to believe it until I see it. You need people to believe it before they can see it. Here is how you can assure yourself to enjoy yourself during the process of whatever it is you're trying to achieve. I want you to get this. Because it starts as soon as you open up your eyes in the morning or whenever it is that you start the day. As soon as you open up your eyes to greet the day, you enter into consciousness. It is at that moment that your creativity is at its most powerful. Right there and then, you have an opportunity to steer your thoughts and your emotions in the direction that you want them to go, not in the direction that they're telling you to go. In other words, you can literally choose to seize the day or you can let the day seize you. Nothing works the first time. When you try something new, it probably won't work. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Every time you lose at something, you're one step closer to winning the next time. The difference between successful people and not successful people, okay. let's call it that sure. way, are people give up. People wake up every morning, they have doubt, they have fear, they lose in a Ferrari race or they lose in a race, and then they just give up. But the, the hardest thing in life to learn is to lose. Winning's easy. You win, you're happy, you get a high five, your friends are happy. It's your ability to take a loss, get up the next day, dust yourself off, and keep going. This isn't about playing basketball like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. There's guys in the NBA that are never gonna play basketball like them. This is about being able to think like a champion know what goes on in their heads. Understand how you can relate it to your business and whatever you do to take yourself to the next level. Remember, the mind controls the body. The body does not control the mind. What makes these guys special and successful in everything they do is not their physical gifts, it's their mental toughness. They have the ability not to think when everyone else is thinking.
So what I want you to do, as soon as you open up your eyes to start the day, is to immediately start focusing on something or someone that you are totally grateful for in your life. I don't care what it is or who it is, but I want you to feel it with your heart and soul. Your only goal, as soon as you open up your eyes, is to be to make yourself feel good and to give yourself enough confidence to get through the day. Don't worry about what needs to be done. Think about who you have to be in order to get it done. I believe the emotions that many of us consider negative, like frustration and rejection and pain, can be our greatest friends because they can drive us to success. You know what? I think one of the things that happens for a lot of people when they get successful is they get superstitious. It's like they work so hard for the success and they now finally have it, so all of a sudden they don't change, they don't vary their behavior, they kind of like want to stay the way things are. They get incredibly conservative and they miss out on the juice of life. Stay out of the trap. Listen, when people succeed, they tend to party. When they fail, they tend to ponder. Now the pondering, many times we create our greatest successes in life. Just remember, it's impossible to fail. If you try something and it doesn't work, just try something else and learn something from what you just did. As long as you learn something, you've succeeded. Start with something small if you want, and then build. But right now, write down two decisions you've made, and then take action on them immediately. I mean, right now. I mean, even before I finish talking here, stop the date, pick up the phone, and make that call you've been waiting for. Do not put it off another minute. I don't care what it takes. There's power in momentum. I'm a big believer that once you set a goal, once you make a decision, you should immediately, in that moment, do something to start making progress towards it. That way you can't cop out later on or get caught up or lose your momentum. So please do it now. And I know not all things can be done right now, so maybe it's something you have to do tomorrow morning. But whatever you're going to do, make the decision and then commit to follow through and then check in tomorrow. Because this is the first step to grabbing your personal power. Remember this. So you got to get out there. You got to give it everything you got, whether it's your time, your, your, your talent, your prayers, or your treasures. What I'd like me to do right now, I want you to think about your dream. Because I'm in a room full of dreamers. Think about your dream right now. I want you to think about it and envision it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. And I want to share something with you that has changed my life. I started out, as was indicated by Jack, very humble beginnings. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. Let's say that together, please say, it's possible. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. No one, ladies and gentlemen, could have convinced me when I started out just over six years ago working on my dream and I want you to think about whatever your dream is because I was willing to take a chance and most people won't do that most of the people that you talk to to try and bring them into the business these are not risk takers most people have done all that they're ever going to do they raise a family they earn a living and then they die but people who are running toward their dreams life has a special kind of meaning and here's what I will share with you that in the process of working on your dreams you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. No matter who you are, what walk of life you're in. Number one, you have to own your own happiness. Uh, take it away from other people demanding that they make you happy. Happy, beautiful people. You've heard it, right? You're, we're to be vibrant people. We're to be happy people. We're to be joyous people. But that doesn't happen by itself. What we have to do is we have to try. And the reason we have to try is because life gets in the way. All of us have within us this amazing capacity to manifest and attract anything that we want into our life. You're a seed. You are full of gifts, talents, potential. But if you plant yourself in unhealthy soil, if you hang around friends that compromise and pull you down, if you're in an environment that's limited with people that tell you what you can't become, you won't see the growth that you should.
You are love. You are divine. Put that into your imagination. I am, I am well. I am happy. I am content. I am fulfilled. Even if your senses tell you that you're depressed. I have the power. I have the power to make this happen. I have the power to create this. I have the power to attract this. I have the power to save my relationship. I have the power to build an unstoppable business that serves people all over the world. I have the power to write my next book or my first book. So by placing into your imagination what you want and assuming the feeling of that wish is already fulfilled, you go through your life feeling that. When enough of us do that, we will, we will transform this planet. I'm telling you, it, it can be done. When you know you can, you escape the prison of limiting beliefs. When you know you can, you reclaim your power, your joy, and your freedom. As you free yourself from the prison of limiting beliefs by choosing empowering beliefs, you truly can be and do and have whatever you desire. Your personality creates your personal reality. That's it. It's that simple. And your personality is made up of how you think, how you act, and how you feel. What you think and what you believe is what will come true for you. Your thoughts create your life. It's that simple. And when we can get that, we can make enormous changes. You're not supposed to go around solemn, serious all the time burdened down by problems, taking time to laugh, to have fun, that re-energizes you. It helps keep you in balance. If it's all work, all stress, all dealing with problems, that's going to weigh you down. You need to start giving the vocabulary of happy to your families. You have to start giving the vocabulary of happy to your teams. But too often, we used to laugh when we were dating. We used to have fun. We used to enjoy each other, but now we've let the pressures of life cause us to become more solemn. We don't have time to laugh. We have bills to pay. We have children to raise. We're dealing with problems. We don't see eye to eye on every situation, but the joy is what's going to help you get through the tough times. Laughing together, having fun, that's going to help keep you together. You have a life that's better than 95% of the people on this planet. Most of the people on this planet do not have the luxury that you have right now to watch somebody on a video on YouTube and be able to benefit from that and receive information that could actually improve and better your life. Most people don't have that luxury. Most people do not have a freaking computer and the internet where you can have access to this. Most people don't have the chair, the, 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 the roof that you have over your head right now. Too many of you are sitting around waiting to feel ready. You can still move forward when you're not ready. Too many of you are waiting to feel like you deserve to make six figures. It's about the action. Your mind, your history, your past, you will always have a million excuses not to do it, not to feel like it, not to believe in yourself. You are a master creator, constantly creating your life in exact accord with your thoughts and feelings. You are an external being worthy of anything and everything you desire. If you wanted to create a new personal reality, that on a fundamental level you would have to change the thoughts that you are thinking, the behaviors and habits that you're demonstrating, and the emotions that you've memorized that's become part of your identity. And most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality, and it never works. We have to become somebody else.